it's one of the greatest die-offs of any wildlife species that we're seeing, um, certainly in the past century. White-nose fungus is what's killing off a number of hibernating bats in the northeast. Um, in states like Maine and Vermont, it's estimated that the populations of little brown bats have collapsed more than 75%. Um, it's questionable now how and if the bats are going to survive with this fungus. The project uh, was designed in a way to determine if, and first off, would bats survive in an artificial setting such as a bunker like this, and if they do survive in a bunker, um, how do we enable the bats uh, to proliferate in the future? The bunkers actually mimic natural caves within the state of Maine. The bats responded in a very favorable way to being in the, in the bunker here. They immediately went back into, into their torpor, they went to sleep, and they would arouse every few days to every few weeks, wake up, take a sip of water, and go back to sleep. We had four infrared motion-activated cameras monitoring the bats 24 hours a day, and I would come out here on the snowmobile twice a week, check on the bats, um, watch the commuter monitor for half an hour to an hour at a time, making sure that the bats were behaving normally. And in March, the biologists from their respective states, New York and Vermont, came back up, picked up their bats, and took their, their respective bats back to the hibernacula in which they came from. This coming summer, we'll start compiling a database of swarming calls from bats. Um, they, they make a certain echolocation swarming call bef uh, before they go into hibernation in the fall. We'll start broadcasting that from ultra high frequency speakers and utilizing the solar panels up there. Um, we'll bore holes into the top of the, the door here and allow the bats to passively come and go for hibernation. Hoping that if they do choose to hibernate here, uh, that their survival rates will be higher than in a cave because the fungus will not be present here.